Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to the Daft Trucks Ride and Drive event here in Goffs in County Kildare in Ireland. As you can see, we're going to have a big lineup of trucks here. The XG. <laughs> and I'm also going to be driving this XG, grossing 38 tonne. This is the 480 model. So yeah, we'll take this out and plenty of more trucks to show you in this video. Let's go. Okay, let's start off with a quick walk around the DAF XG new generation 480. So we'll be taking this for a short little test drive shortly. And as I said, plenty more trucks to show you around in this video. But this being the 6x2 mid lift. So we're allowed to gross 46 ton here in Ireland with this configuration. In the UK, they're only allowed 44 ton. So that is the difference between Ireland and the UK. We can carry an extra two ton on this configuration and you see there look another <laughs> XG pulling in there so they're all taking these trucks out on test drives at the moment so it's great to be able to have an event like this the ride and drive new generation start the future so you'll just notice that this is a curtain cider trailer but all of the straps they're all hidden in behind here so very nicely done <laughs> he's hooting the horn there away <laughs> yeah that's the box trailer yeah so this one has the side skirt here as well all for aerodynamics and of course all the straps hidden there for aerodynamics and if I have a look there at the front of the trailer you see this piece that protrudes out here at the front all done to save on aerodynamic drag and the full air deflector kit at the back there as well so we have a 220 litre tank and a 490 litre on the passenger side and we have an 85 liter ad blue tank and by the way that ad blue tank is smaller on the xf by five liters it's to do with the spout design on the smaller cab so yeah and an all new after treatment system for the exhaust on these trucks as well so yeah all very good but i'm just going to show you um just the locker there again i did show it in a previous video but i'll show it again and yeah they are quite spacious here on the XG and XG pluses. Now of course this truck does not have a flat floor so we don't have any lockers down below here and the AdBlue tank is taken, taken up that space in here at the far side so that's the uh, yeah you don't have any space down here that you would on other trucks but anyway we have three steps going up into the cab and we have a small hump there in the middle and all the adjustment as you expect on the seats there as well so yeah they are quite comfortable the seats and the armrests as well nice and comfy and we have the fridge there and the little storage drawer beside it so yeah i've shown you this in a previous video so i'm just quickly going down through it again so it being a whole new model people want to know as much as they can on it and we have the mattress topper as well so that is a definite must <laughs> if you're ordering one of these trucks definitely get this um, yeah I'd love to have it myself <laughs> but uh, yeah we have a nice wood trim on this and all the adjustment there for the bunk so stereo lights you can lock the doors and you can also have a surveillance mode as well where you press it and you can see what's in the cameras so if you have all the curtains drawn you can see these cameras which is very good and there you see 13 foot 6 on the height of this truck obviously it's a bit higher on the XG plus so that is the space above my head so obviously it's far bigger on the XG plus I'll show you that shortly and on the XF it's nearly brushing my head on the XF so that is the difference and yeah i'll also show you another truck so you can get the xg plus with a cinema style seat which is brilliant so say for instance you don't want this seat uh you know because it's taking up room i suppose but you can swivel this as well look at that <laughs> i love that feature so if you don't want the swivel seat you can go for a cinema style one where it'll fold up on the xg plus which gives you even more maneuverability all around the middle of the cab so all very nicely thought of uh, by DAF and storage lockers here as well. 
yeah they've all decent space in them there three of them and we have the big sunroof there as well and you have your fly net and of course you can block it out as well so, and obviously it's going to be cut out here on the xf which is a smaller bunk but yeah and we have the upper bunk there as well nice and wide and these hooks here yeah and storage up along here as well so let's quickly start it up and give you a look at the display now i showed you before on this display you can have it changed if you want to a different style so we'll just wait for the daft logo to go yeah so this style is kind of the new style but you can get a traditional style as well as you can see there so and we can have our apple car play and our satellite navigation obviously pto switch and our load transfer traction control and our diff lock and we can turn off the rear reversing buzzer and our mid lift and the regen on the diesel particulate filter and the cab leveling button there as well and yeah i've shown you all this before the big pull out table there as well and loads of space up here to put stuff so and here as well we can also charge a phone there's a little pad there so you can rest your phone there and it'll charge if your phone is able to do that and down here we have another drawer so plenty of storage and your two cup holders there but it's nicely done all this silver trim and the wood finish here and also the wood over there and on the door there as well and the handle down here as well to open the door so we'll just give it a couple of revs and all the features there on the steering wheel cruise control and going up and down through the menu and here as well is the gear selector so forward reverse neutral and we have the manual function there as well and your eco function and over here we have our big indicator stock it's quite thick isn't it and your windscreen wipers of course so yeah we have the daft digital vision system there as well we just get in for a closer look yeah and over here yeah i really like this yeah that's a great angle to have and the other truck pulling in there as well the xg okay so i think it's time to take it for a quick drive see what it's like pulling this load 38 ton gross So it's nice to have a bit of a load on this, John. Mm -hmm. So we're about an eight ton down on fully gross. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> we'll hook the horn of them. <laughs> they don't look very happy, they look a bit... I, I, I think they're eagerly waiting to get into one. <laughs> I've been holding them up. Correct. I've been taking so long. <laughs> uh, but, uh, anyway. <laughs> You're getting special treatment. Oh, thanks, John. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, the DAF Digital Vision System. So, John, you were telling me earlier that these ones have no flickering with LED lights at night. These. Yeah. So. The, yeah. So there obviously is other ones available yeah. uh, from other manufacturers that had certain issues with um, car manufacturers' headlights, yeah. but these ones are, are from a different supplier so it's it, we haven't that haven't experienced any issues regards to the yeah. um, vehicles with the LED headlights and yeah so we've around 480 horses so John is there any th talk of DAF having a more powerful truck than a 530 you know like 2700 Newton meters of torque why don't they have a more powerful one I, I just don't think it, it's it's the, in there within their business model I mean you know the percentage of of holidays that would require that is, is so small and it's kind of at what stage do you at what stage do you where do you stop with it, it it's that 
530 horsepower is, is, is more than enough to, for the vast majority of operations. Yeah. Um, and especially with the way you see with fuel costs at the moment and all, all costs going up. Yeah. Um, it, is, there a, is there a necessity to go up to 650? Well, some people would think there is. I mean, you know, 3,000 Newton meters up, people would think, yeah, you know, it should really be up near the 3,000 Newton meters. I mean, 2,700. And to be fair now, John, it's feeling the weight here now. It is feeling the weight there. I'm in 10th gear. I literally have foot to the floor here now. <laughs> so, yeah, I would definitely like more power than that now. Pulling away with that kind of weight, you know, merging with the traffic there. But anyway, um, this truck will be more geared towards like fleet operators. Correct. You know, that yeah. want to save on fuel. Now, John, I was talking to somebody uh, with one of these, an XF 480, and they're doing heavy weights as well. You know, they would be grossing heavy a lot, and they're getting 11 to the gallon. Yeah, yeah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. Um, and we've we've got numbers back that were above that. Um, yeah. So it is. It's it's certainly going to put DAF as as market leader in fuel economy by quite a distance. Mm. Um, I think customers will really see that when they get their hands on the demo and start putting them into uh, real world uh, routes. Yeah, because w with all of the um, engine modifications that they've done. And the new turbo exhaust system, yeah. new axle, new cab suspension, and all of the aerodynamic improvements that they've done to the truck. There's an overall saving of 10%. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. So that that's that's the real, you know, that that's the, the real improvement. I mean, yeah. obviously the styling is massive. The the windscreen 30% bigger yeah. than the existing model. It's um, but, but the, the big ticket is going to be the fuel economy. Yeah. I mean. Any of you guys watching this video, if you're coming out of an XF, you hop in here and there's just so much more vision. Mm. You know, as you say, over 30% more yeah, bigger windscreen big and 15% bigger on the side windows here. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know? phenomenal. And of course, looking out to the right, you have more vision without the mirrors, of yeah. course. But, you know, if I was ordering one of these, John, be honest with you I wouldn't have them there's oh, just yeah. uh, the one thing I don't like about them is you know when you're merging with traffic you can't you know or if you're even coming out of premises and you can't do this mm. you know to mm. get a better perspective you know like so yeah it's, it's, it's changing habits I mean it, yeah. it's it is it is it ready to completely go all all cameras Probably not. Yeah. Uh, is it coming in the future? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's kind of that automatic and manual transmission time where, you know, the automatic came along and nobody wanted it. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it took a long time, didn't yeah. it, really, for it did um, transport operators to kind of get more yeah. automated uh, manual transmission trucks. But we, we can still order you one with the mirrors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, that's up to Rory <laughs> whether he wants to upgrade our 2018 DAF XF 480. Yeah. Uh, 4x2. But yeah, I'll show you guys uh, what looks like a 4x2 XG Plus when we get back to Goffs. But it's actually uh, an FTP 6x2 midlift. Very cleverly hidden, John. Yeah, he's done a great job making the side skirt because yeah. DAF don't make the side skirts for the FTPs, which is a bit unusual, but that's the case. So um, he makes them up, but he blended it in very good. Excellent. He's he done a fantastic, fantastic job. Yeah, fantastic job. Um, I'll show you guys, and if any of you are watching from the UK and you think, I'd love to have a side skirt, well, you can order one from this man and he'll make it up for you. And uh, it looks factory to me, anyway, it does. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have somebody there hooting the horn, <laughs> acknowledging the new gen death. And why not? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I, well, of course, the sun is shining. Yes. It looks fantastic, of course. Uh, Are you going to have more of these events coming up, or is this the only one this year? No, we, we do have more plans uh, for this year and next yeah. year. So yeah. it'll be, um, yeah, 
we'll, we'll announce that in due course. But it's been, yeah, overall it's been a great success. Uh, yeah. We're really, really happy with it. Great display of trucks, great feedback from customers. We're just trying out the engine brake there yeah. now, John. No brakes now. I haven't used the brakes at all now. And now I use the brakes. So that was one thing Daft commented on, John, was the strength of this. Yes. And it is good. It's very so good. So I can uh, I can vouch for that, guys. The engine brake is very good on it. So, um, yeah, for the likes of operating in Ireland, that would be perfectly fine. It's only if you're, you know, in some countries that have long hills, you know, you like to have a retarder, but that exhaust brake there, no, the engine brake is perfectly adequate, John. Absolutely. Yeah. That would probably be that over 75% strength of an entarder. All right, okay. The new one, yeah, so the, the, the previous model was 70%. Yeah. But this one is obviously, there is a yeah, it's vast difference. Good. Yeah. And of course it knocks off the minute you uh, mm -hmm. press the accelerator. I think these events, John, are fantastic. Brilliant. I, Brilliant. This is really the way to get the brand out there show transport operators yeah you know that don't even have that you know invite them yeah. to this drive the truck see what you think yeah absolutely it's uh bring the drivers up yeah you know like all the drivers really should be coming to these events yeah and it's fantastic the uk have been great for us, sporting wise and yeah you know, obviously two of the trucks here are from the uk with the show tracker yeah i love the wrench <laughs> yeah yeah 221 d530 <laughs> uh, and then we have obviously it's a huge selection of customer trucks um, the whole range, LF, CF, XF, XG, yeah. XG Plus, it's brilliant. I'll show you around some of these other trucks now guys when they get pulled up. Just setting off on another test drive. <laughs> off he goes. Yeah, quite a comfortable truck. <laughs> you better close the door, it's a bit ajar. <laughs> but anyway, I have more trucks to show you. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm just inside the Daft Hospitality trailer. As you can see, very nicely laid out here. One of these extendable trailers. Class trailer to bring to all the shows and we have the model trucks as well, looking very well. And all of this food laid out for all of the guests. And if I come out here, I just want to show you, I'm going to be driving this Daft car. So just in case you forgot, Daft did build cars. That is one of them. It's from 1974. Let's take it for a drive. And then we'll have a look at some more new gen Dafts over here. Okay, so we're now inside the Daft car. And uh, this is a very omatic gearbox. It's an automatic gearbox. And the DAF car is from 1974. And it has 54,900 miles on it. And DAF trucks in Ireland sold this car back in 1974. Would you believe that? And it has a cabin registration on it. So we're just going to pull out over the curb here. See it? <laughs> uh, let me see. Is it going to go? There we go. Uh, the acceleration. I'm going over the curb here. I've been told it's okay to go over the curb. <laughs> look at the curb, look. Huh? <laughs> if I stall it now, they're all going to laugh. <laughs> with harness and of course no power steering <laughs> so here we have look you can see the xf on my left the 480 then beside it we have the xg plus 530 and then beside that we have the xg 530 and we have an lf here as well and the red truck there 
uh, the sweeping truck. Then we have a black XF super cab here, super space, and an XF 480 space cab. So that white 4x2 is the very same as the XF 480 that we have in Rory Lynch Transport. Yeah, so we're just going to go for a quick spin around the car park. So imagine this car is five years younger than my 79 Civic. <laughs> it's, and it's ticking over very well. So Daff have bought this car, would you believe, recently from the Irish owner. And they're going to be doing it up and reupholstering it. Fantastic. So yeah, we're only going for a short little drive. That's all. I like the old stuff. All right, lads. All right. <laughs> so look for TRP if you want to get all your parts. So look at the, they have a big display here as well from Zellwood, refrigerated trailer there from Schmitz. And look at the hospitality trailer here. Daff really know how to put on a good spread. Food, tea, coffee, and great weather. What more could you want? <laughs> So that's just a short little spin in the 1974 DAF 66, it's called. Okay, and uh, <laughs> where's parking? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't say where park where park is in it. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd give it a. I can't put up the window either. <laughs> the window won't go up. It'll go down, but it won't go up. Oh, hang on, it's going up now. No? Oh, oh it's a bit... Uh... <laughs> I better leave it. <laughs> uh, okay, turn it off, turn it off. Uh, okay, run, run fast. <laughs> the window won't work. <laughs> so there we go, a short little drive in the 1974 DAF 66. Purchased in Ireland back in 1974, and that is an original cabin registration. Yeah, the very omatic Super Lux. There you go, the classic DAF. Okay, I'm just gonna walk around here, just show you a few more trucks. Now, you'll notice that this one, it looks like a 4x2, but it's not. It's an FTP, it's got the mid lift. There you go. So, and we also have the 85 litre Ad Blue tank. Now it's bigger on the XG Plus than the XF. On the XF it's down 5 litres because of this section here. It protrudes out a bit just because of the extra length in the cab. And as I said already, a new cab suspension set up on the new generation DAF. So yeah, in case you're wondering, all of you guys in the UK, and you're saying to yourself, we can't get this side skirt on the 6x2 with a smaller wheel because this man makes it <laughs> so this is the man that made this side skirt and it looks factory so this is Ivor Steen so Ivor where are you based we are based in Dungannon in Dungannon yeah. okay Steen commercials so you had uh, one of the 4x2s which is one of these and you modeled it off that yes we modeled it off that we stressed the 300 mil we made the brackets to suit we deepened the skirt to hide the wheel yeah. and the tank brackets and it's man manufactured and fitted in Dungannon yeah, you've done a fantastic job. You <laughs> blended it in very nicely. Yeah, it looks factory. Yeah, yeah that was our idea. And so have you done other trucks? Yes, we've done quite a few. We have uh, for the older model DAF. We also have skirts for those for the, right. the the baby wheel. Yeah. Um, Scania's as well, Vol Volvo's as well. But it's uh, this is the first XG Plus. So yeah, it's a nice yeah. tidy job and yeah. really strong as well. It's held on really well there with the bracket. Good brackets. Yeah. So th does it take you long to make these, Ivor? Does it? We turned that around in a week and a half, but we had what? no moulds. A week and a half. A week and a half to mould this. We, we that stretching them, moulding yeah. them, but it was it was because this show we wanted to have them finished <laughs> for the show. <laughs> so it's not normally like that, but yeah, usually we can turn them around in, in, a, in a week or so. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. So there's Ivor's number. Give him a call, and he'll make up one of these for you. Perfect. Great job, Ivor. Thanks a lot for that. Fair play. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna, yeah, I'll hop into the XG Plus and I'll just show you what the flagship DAF is all about. Now this one doesn't have the digital vision system. It just has normal mirrors, but it does have uh, this mirror here as well, along with this 
So even though the screen is not here yet, um, it's obviously fitted there. So the monitor will be fitted there shortly. And we have this man here. What do you think of the new XG Plus? Nothing like the smell of a new truck. <laughs> <laughs> I should hope it's more than just the smell that impresses you. They're very <laughs> but anyway, comfortable and they look yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it is nice now. I, I just want to stand in the middle here just to uh, let people see how much headroom I have. Uh, if I turn around here, you'll see, look, so much more than the XG. So, yeah, it's uh, plenty of space. You won't have any problem with the space in this truck. And of course, the, the bunks are the same size as the XG I was in already. So it's all very nicely done. And the dashboard here, all that brown look to it. And yeah, the steering wheel has a mixture of black and brown in it as well. So yeah, I think that DAF have done a nice job on this new generation of truck. And this is what it looks like without the side skirt. So you can see how much it really tidies up the side of the truck so yeah we've got a nice xf 480 there as well in yellow so that's where i'm going to leave you all from the daf ride and drive event here in goffs in county kildare in ireland as the xg just drives past <laughs> so i do hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll chat to you all again next time for another video thanks for watching cheers Thanks, Finn. i love this john look Good, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Look at that, look. Yeah. The way it folds out completely. Incredible. Yeah, and I also showed them the swivel seat. Of <laughs> no air horn now, John. Huh? Where's the air horn? <laughs> 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 They're all waiting for the air horn.